For sodium oxide, to write the formula, we look up sodium on the periodic table, and sodium is Na, and then oxide, we're looking for the oxygen, and that's just O. We can see we have a metal, the sodium, Na, and then a nonmetal, oxygen. That means it's going to be an ionic compound, and we need to balance the charges to get a net charge of zero. Sodium has a plus one charge, and oxygen has a minus two charge. So these two charges aren't balanced. We can change the subscripts to get the charges to balance. So if I have a plus one and I need to balance out the minus two, I'll need two of these sodiums. Two times plus one, that gives us minus two, and the charges are balanced. We can check our work using the crisscross method. We'll take the two here from the charge on the oxygen, move it down here to the sodium, and move the one from the sodium over here onto the oxygen as its subscript. You don't usually write one, so we'll get rid of that we we'll get rid of the charges, and that's the formula for sodium oxide, Na2O. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.